What's going on everybody, Quaker here, bringing you another Windows 10 app review. Today's app review is going to be called Visum. It's a Visum photo viewer. You can find it on the Microsoft Store for free. It is from the one and only Lou Anderson Ayrton. I covered his Fluent Cast application and uh, yeah, he makes really good applications. Let's see if this one is good as well. So right off the bat, you see it right here. Uh, this is Visum, and when you first boot it up, it has some preset folders that it views um, to find folders, and I'll show you how to change that default. Um, but just showcasing this application, it's supposed to be a fast and good-looking photo viewer um, akin to the built-in Microsoft Photos application in Windows 10. Um, but this one shows you obviously um, everything up front instead of like uh, kind of locking you away from things, having to click into settings to find stuff. So when you go in, uh, this I changed the default folders. This is actually like a flight simulator folder and some other pictures that I chose to put in. Um, and when you click on a photo and you see it's popped up there, you see the this planet right here. And then if I can hit this button here and you can see the drop down menu here, you can rotate it, adjust your image and resize and all that stuff, set it as your desktop wallpaper, lock, your lock screen wallpaper. You can open it with other applications as well and open in File Explorer and then also view the properties or by pressing F1. So if I press properties, you can see the properties of this specific image when it was taken, uh, how it was taken, what the file is called, where the file is located. Uh, the dimensions of the image, aka the resolution of the image, and so on like that. You can even edit the properties from here. And so you can actually change some variables in the properties right there, such as camera and other things like that. So that's really cool. Uh, going back out, let's go to an actual image that um, I actually took myself. So let's find... Uh, so this is a picture here. So I took this picture years ago um, down in Virginia Beach. And so right-clicking it... You can see the similar options as when you click this menu up here. This gives you obviously more options to edit and do things. But this one, it gives you the same th similar amounts, only it's laid out differently. And then this button here just lets you collapse. Uh, well, sorry, this button here makes you just lets you collapse that list of things. So you just see your rotate, your crop, your adjust, as such as edit. Um, and then you also have your resize image. And then you can also set the image as. So you see the similar things there. You can also zoom in. You can zoom out. So let's say I want to view this BMW's rims really well. I can be like, okay, it's a Michelin uh, rim. And then if I want to go back, you just right click and you can zoom out or just click that. And you can just kind of, you can play around with it and just see how well it works. Overall, it's a, it's a good application. It looks nice. And also I was going to say, look into the properties. Since this is a picture that I took myself, it has more information on it. It's a raw file. So you can see the vertical resolution of the DPI focal length and all that stuff you'll see in the regular uh, properties on the photos app uh, you can see that here too but it's just laid out probably a little bit more clean instead of uh, having to you know really dig into the nitty-gritty to find it so that's it's a good thing to have this application uh, going in deeper uh, so going back here to the gallery view then that's when this menu button pops up one thing I don't understand is how come let's say I click on this squirrel that I took a picture of on my deck um, why I can't find the menu when I do this. So there's no there's no option to find the menu right here at all. You have to go back in order to find the menu and then you see menu there. And then you can open up an image, open a folder, or you can hit refresh and it'll refresh for any new pictures that you brought up. So we're going into settings now. And settings has the general tabs, overview, gallery, folders, privacy, about. I'm gonna click about real quick just to make sure that it has the things that I always look for in an about tab on an application and I'm already telling you that I don't see some things that I would expect to see um, I was hoping to see some kind of email address of or some kind of way to contact a developer other than going through their github and social media stuff um, I was hoping to see the developers name I was hoping to see the developer Lou Anderson's um, maybe email or some kind of contact info maybe one social media other than github Hoping to see something like that, but I don't see that here. So that's just a little, you know, zonk that I wanted to give it. Otherwise, yeah, it gives you the change log. It gives you uh, see the app on GitHub 0.007.0.07. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But it goes in and it tells you the privacy policy. Um, this is one of the main visions was to for user privacy. 
contains uh, types of information that is collected, recorded by Visio Photo Viewer and how we use it. So it's telling you how things work. And then here, this allows you to pick your folders. So I pick these three folders. I pick cars and coffee, images, and macro. If you hit add folder right there, um, you'll see that a pop-up comes up and it says we've seen folders with pictures. And then you can hit select all, such as you want the whole entire photo uh, folder of mine, or you can add another folder right here and you click that and it does that. So it's it works really well. Uh, going to gallery as well, you can change the aspect ratio of each thumbnail to from 16 by nine, which is what it is, three by two, four by three, and one to one, which is a square format. So let's say I hit, uh, let's say I hit one to one, and then when I get to that gallery again, I'll show you guys what it means. Uh, going to overview, you have your show folders or show photos from OneDrive, autoplay gifts. You can display, um, delete confirmation. So it says, are you sure you want to delete this? And it'll tell you. So getting out of that, you see now everything became a square format. Um, let's see if it got scrunched. It looks like uh, it didn't really get scrunched at all. This is Flight Simulator. That's why it looks like that. Uh, no, it doesn't really. It didn't do that. So, yeah, it actually looks really clean. Everything still looks really good. Really solid application overall. Um, would I use it? Um, personally, when I tend to view photos on my PC, um, I'm usually going through like Photoshop or Affinity Photo and things like that, or even Lightroom, like most people do. I'm not ever really using these. This um, I'm not ever really using the Microsoft Photos app. The only reason why I ever use Microsoft Photos is because I downloaded an image from the web, or I took a screenshot and it put it into Photos in order for me to save it and stuff like that. That's the only reason why I use the Photos application. So for me. I personally would not use this, but my recommendation for you all watching this is if you do tend to use photos, the photos app, the built in default Windows 10 photos app um, a lot. This is a thing to look at as well, because it does. It shows you just everything up front, kind of like iOS and things like that. And you can tell it even has the slightly rounded corners that Microsoft is going towards right now. So that's pretty cool. So, yeah, overall. It's you can get it. You should definitely take a look at it. Um, I don't know if it'll replace any of your workflow at all, but it is a good um, application for viewing photos and just seeing the information behind photos and just displaying them. Now, there's one more thing that I want to look at before I do that, and it is I'm going to click this uh, airplane right here. I'm going to right click and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this up just just a little bit. I'm looking for a full screen view. A way to view my photos in full screen without having to maximize the um, the application fully. I'm looking for a way to make this thing full screen, like a slideshow. I don't see any way to make a slideshow. Let me see if there's a way to actually uh, do any slideshow at all. I don't see that at all. Um, maybe if I hit Control and I click. Nope, you can't do a Control click at all. You can't. There's no way to select multiple photos at a time either. And that's where one thing that Microsoft Photos definitely has above for this application is if you want to do a slideshow or you want to you want to do multiple things, with, you want to do some things with multiple photos at once. Um, this is merely a photo viewer. This is not going to let you make that full screen or anything like that. So for Lou Anderson, the developer and anyone else who worked on this as well, um, some features to add um, allow you to view the menu. Uh, from any screen so when you click on to say this airplane here allow me to view the menu still um, and then another thing that I would love for you to add is a way to have full screen slideshows basically to start that you would need to allow us to select multiple photos at a time and maybe you can right click it or tap and hold long press and that way you can hit start slideshow let us do that and then later on maybe if you really take this app seriously um, allow us to maybe arrange those photos that I select maybe in a different screen um, into whatever order I want and then start the slideshow that'll be a nice thing that way like you have a monitor you have your Samsung uh, TV that is the frame and you can just start slideshows because you have like a little um, HTPC connected to it that'd be pretty cool for those power users that we are so yeah that's about it this was Visum photo viewer Hope you guys like this. If you have any questions about it, let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, obviously give it a like. We're slowly reaching that 750. We're getting closer and closer. 1,000 is still in close reach now. So yeah, my name is Kwaku and uh, take care everybody.